ACountNews.com. Peter Zimbor here with ESPN2 boxing analyst and world-renowned trainer Teddy Atlas. Teddy, earlier tonight, ESPN's Friday Night Fights main event, Delvin Rodriguez wins a hard-fought yet lopsided win over Mike Arnanudis in a welterweight fight. What do you think of that fight, and what do you think of Rodriguez's chances of getting back in the welterweight title picture? Well, he never got that far away from it. I mean, he lost a split decision, I believe, right, for the title. His last fight, he lost. He lost two in a row coming into his fight. He lost a 12-round decision that was highly disputed over in Poland. I saw the fight. He got robbed. I mean, you know, it's a shame they did that over there. But that's what happens when you go to foreign countries sometimes. Hey, that's what happens when you stay domestically sometimes. You don't even have to go far to get robbed. But he definitely got robbed. And he's not far away from the title fight. He's already shown that he can lose a split decision in a world title fight. Some people thought that he won the fight. So he shows that he belongs at that level. Uh, this was a good fight. Get some rounds. You know, maybe hopefully now get another chance to pop in there somewhere. Uh, pretty one-sided. He, he kept it real simple. Jab, right hand. And that's what he does good. He understands his identity. He's pretty steady. He uses that jab. He kind of paints you with that jab a little bit. And then he looks for that straight right hand. Well, Delvin has made here at the Mohegan Sun his home his past few fights. Perhaps we'll see him back here soon. In the co-feature tonight, Demetrius Andrade, 2008 U.S. Olympian, continued his unbeaten ways in the ring. Now, you have been critical of Demetrius Andrade in the past, not of his skills. He certainly has plenty of them, but of the level of opposition he's been facing. What did you think? How do you think he did tonight against who he's in against? Well, he fought a 36-year-old guy. You were watching, I hope. Guy was 36 years old. He lost three of his last four. He'd been knocked out two times, and he had all his fights in the Midwest. And uh, he went the distance with him. So there's only two things to think about. Either Andre's not as good. Maybe his people are right. Maybe I shouldn't be so critical about him fighting better guys because he's not ready for better guys. You know, he didn't look that impressive tonight. You know, you could say, well, maybe they're right. You know, he, he's not ready to fight better guys. He's, he's not as good as we want to think he is. Or you could say, because he's not fighting better guys, he's not developing. He's stymied in his development. You can make a good argument that a lot of these other prospects that are out there and they've been on our air and they've been fighting better guys, that they have progressed. They might not be as purely skilled athletically as Demetrius is, but they've been progressing and developing a lot better. And before I let you go, I know you've got a car to catch. I want to ask you about your charge, Alexander Povetkin. He is a mandatory for heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko. Do you think that fight is going to happen before 2010 is out? I don't know. I mean, uh, if it doesn't, we'll fight another fight. You know, I, you know, I'm not like the promoters are. The promoters want to uh, let me get to the biggest money fight so I can get my investment back. You know, uh, to me, I'm not a great guy, but I'm a boxing trainer, and as a boxing trainer, my most important responsibility is develop your fighter, get him to become the best and the most dependable, the most reliable fighter that he can be not worry about you know how quick you get to a big money fight and to me i just want to keep getting an opportunity to develop him to be in the gym with him to keep developing him and he's only got 19 fights i mean he's been pro with the silence for five years but he's only got 19 fights and he's just got two of them with me recently so i wouldn't mind them getting more seasoning hey we gotta fight Klitschko, that wouldn't be my, you know, I'm, I'm not going crazy over that. We, if, if they're going to make it and we're going to fight Klitschko, we'll be ready. We'll go do what we have to do to win that fight and be prepared to win that fight. But again, my, my priority is just getting back in the gym with him and getting as much time as possible to let a kid with 19 fights get a little more seasoning and a little better. That's all I'm thinking about. Well, hopefully when that fight does come out, maybe it will be a little bit more entertaining than some Klitschko fights we've seen in the past. I know that's something else if you've been critical not, of. If it's not, you're going to lose. <laughs> because one thing Klitschko does is he uses his physicality well and he hides his mentality well. And what I mean by that is his physicality is bigger, you know, he's longer than everybody, and he keeps you at the end of that jab where he can hit you with the right hand sooner or later. He can split your guard. And he keeps you in the geography needs right out in front right where you can do that and if you do happen to get close he grabs you and he hides his weak mentality or if he does have a weak mentality where it's been exposed a couple times in his career where he doesn't like pressure he doesn't like inside fighting he hides that he grabs you so you definitely have to move forward but you have to do it in a smart educated way where you don't get caught on the way and but that's not all of it when you finally get close you have to do something you have to make sure you can fight, and you can make sure that you can expose him in the areas that he's not real strong.
Well, I know that you had a good game plan for Michael Moore when he won the heavyweight title from Evander Holyfield, then another heavyweight belt a few years later from Axel Schultz. So I'm sure Alexander Povetkin will be comfortable with you, and I thank you for taking the time out for this interview. No, no problem. That's Teddy Atlas joining us here at 8countnews.com.